Hey beautiful traders, welcome back to my channel. There's more Samuel here again. I'm back with yet another episode of our weekly Forex forecast. So um, if you're coming across this channel for the first time and then you're wondering what this weekly forecast thing is about, so it's practically a segment of my YouTube channel that I have actually put aside to come in on here every single weekend to give you guys the best trading opportunities. I did also a recap of the you know recent developments across the Forex exchange market. So uh, without wasting any much time, if you're, new, if you're new to my channel, that is, if you're coming across the channel for the very first time, I'd like you to just sit back and then watch and enjoy this um, series and then also be be sure to subscribe because guys i'm so close to hitting 1000 subscribers all right i come on here every every single weekend i i, I give you guys value for value all right? there is no pair i have not caught at the hack not bank go back and check my my previous video guys all right so without wasting any much time um the first pair on the list now is the euro dollar justifiably so i mean this is the easiest easiest um, um pair to trade at the moment this is quite um it has it has uh, clean structures and then it's quite you know um uh the the volume is 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 high because this is the most traded pair all right so without wasting any much time so on on the, on the weekly time frame we have something that that looks um a bit like um an impulsive leg followed by a correction and you guys know that the market only, only trends for about 40 percent of the time so what happens for the for the remaining 60 percent we are actually stuck in the range and that is exactly what we are we are we are currently experiencing for the for the euro euro dollar so long story short now um in my in, in my previous um video i was i was calling the the euro euro, euro dollar to, to the downside around this point here and we, we got here and for some reason we were just playing around this this point here so we we could you know every single time we tried to you know drop we we put back up we would try to drop we put back up so eventually um this turned out to be a fake out and then the market you know folded back in into the supply here so um this is where we are at at currently on uh, on 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 euro dollar so whenever you have you have the market do something something like this and then if it fails to follow through now this is and then it it, it, it turns back in, in in the in the opposite direction this now becomes a fake out and what and what follows after a, a fake out is an exponential move in the opposite direction and that is exactly, exactly what we saw here so not only did that happen but the market went ahead to create a, a demand level around the 1.07431 region so once we scale down to the four hour time frame this will be a bit a bit vivid a bit clearer for you to see so uh, we have a demand level here right at 1.07431 and then um so what we what we need to do now is two things here so the market is, is trading currently at a supply level so um Quite frankly, um, if you if you want if you if you if you if you're the ag aggressive type, yeah, if this if this supply level holds, we should actually see the the euro dollar reverse all the way back down. However, I'm not I'm I'm not actually um I'm not actually uh uh um how would I say. I'm not actually an ag aggressive trader, all right. So I like to see the market do do every single thing that it has to do, and then I come back up on the trade. So, but as things look now, the it, the market has has a better chance of falling back into this demand level and then blowing all the way up because now this is the the current trend that we have here is 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 medium term bullish, and then this is where the the solid demand level lies. So we could potentially see the euro euro dollar drop to around around the regions of one point zero seven four hundred, and then we can now blow this guy all the way up, you know, to wherever it wants to head. So um, we have two things to 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 play with now. So we have this this supply level. If the market does take away take out this this supply level here, we have space to the upside right around around um, one point zero nine seven four six. All right, so. So um not not only that let's 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 use another another um chart, chart supply so you guys can see this clearly so this is exactly how it looks like on my um different I, I call this particular chart my rough work all right so this is how it looks so we are currently sitting at a supply level all right so I I, I expect the market to to react and, and reverse from here and then and then drop all the way back to this demand level that led to this entire you know rally and then this is where you want to wait to go long on on this guy so now we have we have target here so um sorry guys so quite frankly this is how he looks this is how it looks at at the moment so if the market does does take out this um this this supply level here which is right about uh, around 1.083 a two, we should actually see the market rally into into regions of a one point one, you know, zero, 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 around there. And then if if that level doesn't hold, that is, if it gets broken, then we could, then we could put potentially see the euro euro rally in, into the or um into the into the um into the July highs of about one point one two seven seven five seven. However, 
before this, we need to see the market pull back to this demand level here, which is a bit clearer once it's, once it's going on to, to the four hour time frame. We can clearly see that the market came on here, created this demand, and blew all the way out. However, this will this will not be the deciding point. So this these are the two deciding points for the for the euro because right right now, what what seems to 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 have happened is that we are we 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 completely took out this 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 of red level that was somewhere around here and then we are actually trading at the highs so now we could potentially see this guy you know fall back down around here you know gather some more momentum and then blow all the way out because now as as things stand the 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 SY is quite is quite weak at the moment following the the you know you know you know um release okay so um so if you're if you're going long from here, I mean obviously when the market does this, I'll be I'll be here to let you guys know as as I always do. So um if you're going long from here, your first level target should be one point zero eight five hundred, and then subsequently you know you should take out your 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 profit at one point one zero 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 region, which is this this yellow bar right about here. All right. So and in the event that these two levels do not hold, we should see the euro dollar like I said earlier, you know rally into the regions of about one point one two five hundred. All right. So that's that for the euro euro dollar. The next Next pair on my list now would be the, the pound sterling. Um, pound sterling, pound sterling, pound sterling. So um, going from the weekly time frame, you guys know I, I like I like to do something called the top down analysis where I, I I go from the higher time frame and then I walk my way down to the lower time frame. All right. So um, the GPUSD on on the other hand has has it has it has a similar a similar setup to to that of the of the of the euro dollar, which you can see clearly here. So what 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 is happening now is that we have actually you know folded all the way back to this supply level here, which which acted um pre previously around 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 March. So this this is headed towards towards that. I mean, it is it is actually 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 trading around around the March supply levels here. So if you can see that on 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 the weekly time frame, it looks as if we have put in a head and shoulders pattern, and, and and then the market was coming in to put, you know, the 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 right shoulder. However, like I said earlier, you know, this was where where this market created this this this. Uh, so so we have two demand levels to work with here on the on the pound sterling. So the first one being this this particular one here that was that was formed um on um. Around um this this was from around around Thursday. All right, so the market came on here. I was actually expecting this guy to you know melt all the way back down here and retest this level and then we blow up from there. However, that didn't happen. Instead, we came on into this um recent demand levels here, which has held you know in December twenty twenty three at that one one two three four. So, so this is a fifth touch here, and this is quite solid, right? Because it, it, it definitely sent the market, you know, in the in the opposite direction. So what are we look what are we looking for now? So we we we, we may potentially work, have to work with two with two demand levels now. So now we, we need to see this mark. Sorry. So so we need to see this market, you know, drop back down to 1.262009. All right. And if and if this demand level does not hold, we should see this guy drop all, all the way to 1.24801. And then what what we are actually actually looking for at, at this point is bullish setups. All right. So because we want to go long on this pairs, you can see how how, how the market as as we're getting higher highs and higher lows. So this is a low, this is a high, high, higher low, higher, high, higher low. All right. So at this point, what we, what, what we want to be doing is, is to go long on the pound sterling and then if um if um jesus christ series every every single thing goes over we should see the pastor in you know rally into the highs of 1.31573 however before then we need to see a decent pullback for to give us an opportunity to load our buys and ride this guy all the way up all right so for the pastor here we need to see a drop to 1.26209 and then if this if this guy does not hold, we should see it, it drop to one point two four eight zero one. However, every single thing we are doing here is for us to go bullish on this guy. All right, so and this could potentially come in to put in a chart pattern. So you so you also have to be careful around here. So because this could potentially come in to give us a double top and then drop all the way back down. So this is the this is the reason as why I, I urge you guys to, to subscribe to my channel because I come on here and then I, I give you guys all case scenario. I share as much as I can to be honest, honest with you guys. I'm not trying to, you know, um, sell you anything it's just come on here so subscribe to the channel so that you can you can get free free access to into proper education like this so um like i said earlier if this if this level doesn't hold and then and if for some reason we we break above here we need to see this level retested and then you know balance properly before we actually take our lungs to 1.31573 on the pound standing all right so that's just that for the for the pound standing what whatever thing happens currently every single thing looks bullish at the moment so the next pair of my list now is the aussie dollar um 
All right, so for for the for for eighty USD, um, I, I know I know that a, a lot of you guys we are we are expecting expecting it to drop. I myself, I was I was expect, expecting it to to clear out this this demand level. Yeah, however, that didn't happen. Instead, it came on here to create fresh demand levels. All right, so and this is this is this is what happens okay so you don't have to beat yourself up over over anything it happens it happens all right so the market can decide to create a demand level anywhere and just work with it so your 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 business your concern as a as a as a, a, a trader here is to work with what with whatever thing that, that, that the market presents to you okay so because now we we are reactive and not and and, and not predictive so what is happening here is, is that the market has has, has it created a, a previous demand level and it has balanced out here and and it's now Headed south, it, it is headed north actually. So it is it is pointing to the upside at the moment. So we have these highs here as a target. However, for us to take this trade, we need to see this guy pull back to this demand level. Okay, you know it, there there are there are there are demand levels within this demand level. So so you need you need to you need to you need to point that I need to point that out to you guys real quick. So this is how it looks like. Yeah. So we need to see the market you know melt back down to add uh, to uh, zero point six six four hundred and then we want to go long from here and then the targets are zero point six eight four six nine all right for our first you know take profit and then subsequently we could actually see the the Aussie, Aussie dollar rally into the regions of zero point um 0 0.7000 which which is also a rounded figure so and then that, that was that was also somewhere around around, around these highs yeah, however we need to take out this high at 0 0.68476 and then subsequently rally into um the, the regions of 0 0.7000 now I'm, I'm using this rough chart because this this has no levels all right so we are just trading off of demand and supply right here okay so as you can see clearly here the market has created a, a decent demand level and it has it has you know rallied from there so what you need to see is it melts back down to this point and then take your buys to the first level target is 0 0.68476 and then subsequently we could rally into 0 0.7000 on the Aussie dollar right so the next pair on, on my list now is um NZD USD also you know so these these are these are the things that that you, you want to consider here. Yeah? So the, the NCD USD is currently traded trading at uh, around around a solid a, a solid supply level, okay? Because because the market ha had to break back down here, retest this guy and then drop. So this is also acting as a decent supply around around the one point uh, around the zero point six one four two seven. So what you need to do is wait for you know a, re a rejection candle that is pointing. You know, south because this is sitting at the at the decent decent supply level, so it it will not be a, a bad idea to go short right here. All right, so your 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 first level target should be obviously this. You know, a, a demand that 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 was, that was created around around the zero point six zero seven uh, six nine two region, and then if that if that level doesn't hold, we have a, 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 a another demand level at um zero point six zero zero zero, which is also a, a running figure. So you may actually 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 consider you know this these two you know the uh demand levels to 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 actually go long here okay so but for me personally i would i would i would prefer to see this guy drop all the way to 0 0.6666 and then we can now rally from here okay so um next pair on my list now is a a adchf so far has been has been has been decent i called out this pair for you guys earlier on I said that you guys should, should actually go long on this pair. That it is one of the one of the decent trades that 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 we, that we're gonna take, you know, this year, and it is it is playing out nicely. So, however, we have we have actually come into um, we have actually blown blown past something called equilibrium, and now the market, you know, is it is it is it is looking as if it, it wants it wants to pull back all right, for for us to add some more entries. So, um, this is how it looks like triple triple bottom, and then you know neckline break double um. Pull back into 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 key level and then and then pointing south here. Yeah? So once you scale down to your to your four hour time frame, what we have here is a a pullback that is ab about to happen to, to give us an opportunity to add to our, our positions here. Yeah? So this is where I'm I'm actually waiting for this pair to to come into so I can I can I can add you know more 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 longs and then and then my 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 first TP here still remains zero point six zero nine three six because this was the recent high before the market actually mounted all the way back down and then also subsequently we should see this guy rally into regions of zero point six four five hundred. However, this this matches nicely with AUSD pullback, NZ, NZDUSD pullback. Um, what other pullback? The pouncing pullback, yeah, because this was the recent demand that, that was created. You guys have to understand this concept, all right? So from from swing from swing low to swing high, we have something to play with around around the um 
uh, around the 0 0.059745 region. So we need to see this guy, you know, melt back down to this region and then balance our property the, the same way we did here. And then we now start looking for, you know, bullish opportunities on the AEDCHF. So next pair on my list now is NCDCHF. Um, NCDCHF on, on the other hand also has a, a similar scenario. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm currently long this pair at, at the moment. Um, so two things we could potentially see this guy drop, you know, back down to this to this level here to test it properly because this 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 should not coincide with this entire you know you know if we would actually play as I've seen like so 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 we could see this guy drop you know back down to this um region here and then and then balance out properly for us to blow out you know finally all the way to the outside. So um like I said earlier, first level target is always the reset high. Okay, so first level target is zero point five five four one five, and then and then subsequently we could rally into zero point five six two two nine region around here, and then once these two levels are cleared, we have zero point five seven four um one two. All right, so all this is about about three hundred pips, and then and then we have so we have lots of levels. So whenever the market bridges anyone, I'll let you guys know in my, in my Telegram community. Once again, if you want to be a, a part of that, you know, check the description here. We have linked and, and my email address is also there. So feel so feel free to text me, you know, personally if you want to enroll en enroll for the course. Yeah. So um. Next pair of on my list now is gold. So gold has, has been doing some 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 good stuff recently. Yeah. So I highlighted this 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 of this of level that I was I, I was expecting gold to to actually refresh from. However, it came in here to put something that looks like a a a, a right shoulder in this head and shoulders pattern, which is also a, a reversal pattern to the downside here. Remember, we still have a, a decent supply below at at two thousand one hundred and fifty um dollars per per ounce for for gold. So now what we need to see is is market you know melt back down here because the market came into these demand levels and and rallied. So 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 we need to see the market come back and clear this level and then be test properly and balanced out at two thousand one fifty the the dollars per ounce before we actually blow all the way out because if you measure this. From this head of this head and head and shoulders pattern to the neckline, if you create it, you have at least you know somewhere a, a fair a fair amount of pips to drop into, which 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 also coincides with you know the space between here and this demand level. All right, so for me, I'm still I'm I'm still waiting patiently to see what what gold has to offer because I'm I'm gonna blow this guy all the way to two thousand six hundred you know the dollars per ounce. However, I need to see this guy decide. All right, is is gonna break above here and retest properly or 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 it melt all the way back down you know to two thousand one. 160 so let's let's see what it has to do so for the um dollar yen the dollar yen so far um so i i i i, I, I i've been highlighting this guy to the upside for 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 quite some time now and then we've come here to put an, an ascending triangle and and then not only that but, but went ahead to 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 blow through the 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 supply level so now i need i need to i need to i need to see the market you know come back down to one five eight region balance out properly for us to actually continue you know adding adding to our, our long positions on on this guy here so, so we have from here all the way up here okay so we have about um from from one five eight to one seven seven point thirty three eight to go all right so this is just medium term targets we still have a higher a, a a a long long a long way to go all right which i'm gonna you know explain to you guys the reason as to why i feel like so on the japanese index all right so um next pair on, on my list now would be the the uh the dollar index so for the for the for the dollar index here yeah, we, we we seem heavy at the moment coming you know dropping into into a one 104.681 and if the because now this is the this is this is the third time that the market has failed to create a higher high you get we, uh, we we came here putting a high came to put a lower high and this is even a lower high all right so the market is 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 is, is head is is pointing south to be to be very honest with you guys it is looking weak at the moment all right so the market has failed to create a new high three times three times as as it stands so you need you need to also also be cautious as you as you as 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 you go about to trade on on this pair yeah so um this was the demand that led to this entire entire rally so i will not be surprised to see the dollar you know collapse and and balance properly around the 104.639 region and then and then potentially blow from here um the next pair on my list now would be um the the japanese index all right so this would, would let you guys understand why i'm i'm, I'm calling the um the, the, the lion to the to the downside for as 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 for a pullback and then you know continuation to the upside. So as you can see here, we we broke out of this chart pattern. Once again, if you even want to know about about this chart pattern, make sure that you you go back and check my previous video. So this is 
a double top here in a downtrend. And you guys know that once 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 a double top happens in a downtrend, that is a continuation pattern to the downside because on one hand we have continuation chart patterns and then and then on, on, on the other hand we have reversal chart patterns. So this in, in this case is a, is a continuation chart pattern, yes, because this is double top happening in a downtrend. And then this was where this was where the neckline got, got broken out and then it is it's currently pulling back to test that and and the market had already already used that level as a support level so the market is just coming back here you know to retest it so this is a decent opportunity for us to actually wait for and then go long on every single pair versus the yen the pound yen the euro yen the aussie yen the card yen the um the new zealand yen okay so just wait for this guy to pull back properly and balance out because this is this is the head itself okay this is that we have dark days ahead, all right. Just just understand this. We have dark days ahead for the for the yen, you know, um, uh, currency. So the next pair of my list now is BTC. Um, for the for for the longest of times, I have I have I have been I have been highlighting BTC to the downside accurately, you know, for that matter. Um. Uh, I remember calling up a BTC somewhere around 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 something one k. All right. Um. Um. And my first target was was actually actually six five k, but that got breached, and now we are we are we are we are we are actually actually looking at you know potentially dropping into regions of fifty k, and if this figure doesn't hold, we should see this guy at forty at at forty k per coin. Yeah. So heading over to the to the weekly time frame, we have something called a double top, and you guys know that once a double top is created on on the weekly time frame and the neckline gets broken, it is a decent short opportunity there's nothing that can reverse this do you understand so all you have to wait for now is a decent pullback after this candle closes tomorrow which is sunday so once this closes because btc and um, the crypto market runs 24 7 so let this guy close and let's see how it closes it, it closes however this is this is this is this is, this is, this is looking heavy uh because this this high is is lower than the that is that is previous one here and then the market also came in here to create a so a supply level if if, if that's supply level which is also pointing to the downside and um in my in my opinion what i'm actually waiting for now is is a decent pullback to this supply level for, for us to go short here yeah? and if you break it, it it matches nicely with your supply level so i need i, I need to see the market pull into regions of about 63 k per coin and then this is a where you really you, you really really want to go short on this guy and bury this guy all the way on his head because why whenever the market creates a pattern here like a double top the market always comes back and, and reverses to so at least 50 percent of the of the entire length of that chart pattern before continue, continuing in, in, in the direction of, of the chart pattern. In this case, we have a double top here and the entire length is from here to here, okay, so far. So now the market tends to you know, pull back into 50% into of the entire move and then drop further. Do you understand? So, so, so these are things that 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 I have I have, I have, I have learned from from experience. Like I said, you know, I have I'm I'm have, I have tra trading the market for well over half half a decade now. So these things are not actually new to me anymore. So wait for a for this for this for this supply level here to get tested and then and then balance out properly and then shut this guy all the way. So my my first level target for BTC is is 50k per coin. And if this level does not hold, we should see BTC drop all the way to 40k. All right. So that's that for for BTC. Um, Ethereum on on the other hand also has the is the same setup, all right. So if 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 this if this um if this if this levels don't hold, we, all these coins will drop, and then this and you guys know that if if, if BTC drops, it, it kind of drags the entire ecosystem with it, all right. So um this is a lower high from this recent high. This is also a double top, all right. So this was where the sub level was created around around three thousand five hundred dollars per coin or for Ethereum. So what? So what's gonna happen is that we have to wait for it if you want to pull back into three thousand five hundred dollars per coin and then you know shut this guy all the way here. First level target is two thousand um eight seven nine dollars per coin and then subsequently we should see the, the ETH drop all the way to one thousand six hundred dollars per coin. You know if and only if B BTC keeps keeps dropping. All right. So that's just that for for um for for Ethereum. Um, I, I don't see any other. Okay, let's let's talk about oil. So for crude oil here, it's it's simple. Yeah, it's simple. So the market came into into recent supply here, and and it's balancing up properly, and it has gone ahead to put it a daily bearish engulfing candle, and this trade was sent out to my community members. Yeah. So long story short, we 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 have two two levels to watch out for on on US oil. So. We need to see the market pull into this. So, so we have two demand levels to work with here. So the market could, could potentially pull into $80 uh, um, per barrel or even 
you know, seventy eight dollars per barrel. So we so 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 whichever thing happens here, uh, we are we are we are only in, in, in interested in going long on US oil. All right. So 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 we need to see the market, you know, decide and pick whichever day, whichever level it wants to work with, balance up properly, and then and, and then give us a prompt for us to go long on US oil. So right now the market is short and initially was sent out to my to my telegram community of which I the link is is my is, is in the description of, of, of this video follow my, my email as well. So um after US oil um nothing really much let's see um ZJPY so ZAR uh, ZAR JPY um so this this pair is also bullish you know versus the versus the yen so um uh, we have a decent you know uh buying opportunity coming up in the in, in, in the next couple of weeks because this pair is quite is quite volatile yeah so we have an inverse head and shoulders pattern that was actually created here and and then we have the neck hair break and retest so we need to see so this are so this is the decent demand level that, that was created on the weekly time and you can see the bounce off of that and once you now you know it from from swing low to or all the way to swing highs you, you can see that the market needs to pull back into the regions of about of about 8.2 you know and then we can now rally, rally from here to you know 10 which is also my uh my prime target for for this pair, which which also like I said earlier, coincides with what's happening across the board for the Japanese yen index. All right, so um, that's just that for for the for this um episode of our, of our weekly forecast. Um, I I not, not see the reason as to why um, it should, it should, it should be it should be stressed about it. Um, Cardian Cardian hasn't really um um decided yet on what he wants to do. So let's 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 go down to the daily type and see how how things look. So yeah, so so, so we have a, a demand level, you know, sitting at at around uh, around um one 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 three point six five three region. So what we need to see is a decent drop. Let's see this guy drop out uh, drop here and then this will now be a, a decent chance for us to go long on this pair. All right. Because if we started the recent you know uh, pullbacks it has two two pullbacks it pulls it pulls back twice all right First one, second one, all right. First one, second one. So first one here, we need to see a, a second one somewhere around around here. Banana start probably before we are before we can we can actually be confident to go long on this pair. All right, that right, guys. So thank you so much for st for sticking to today to the end, end of this video. If you found value so far, be sure to, to subscribe the button, um, hit the subscribe button rather, and then share this video to all all your Telegram community. Share this on, on your on your WhatsApp stories, on your Instagram, on your Twitter because guys, I going to take my channel to one k, and we are about eight hundred and fifty six subscribers away from hitting one k. All right, and I believe I can do this. You know, with your help because you guys have brought me this far so thank you so much for sticking to, to, to the end I, I make sure you leave a like and comment and i mentioned any pair that you that you like me to, to talk about in my in my in my next video all right so thank you so much guys i'll see you guys in, in the next episode peace out